So today's video concept of bringing you my number one favorite product from drugstore brands was actually done by Mandy Lee. I love Mandy and if you guys have not seen her, she does the most interesting videos and she comes up with some great ideas. And it was actually one of her subscribers that actually came up with the idea and then she tweaked it a little bit. And as she was talking about it, she was talking about how hard it is to come up with the actual number one product, just one product from each brand's brand at the drugstore because there's such good brands out there and there's so many good products. And so I thought the same thing. So prerogative of having your own channel, I'm gonna just disclaimer like she did, that there are a couple of runners up in each of these categories. And I'm gonna show you those because I think it's really important to have those as well. There isn't just necessarily just one product. However, I did try really hard to stick with what was really just the standout product. And I didn't go from category to category. There might be duplicates on categories here. So there might be two lip glosses. There might be, you know, two highlights lighters, whatever, from, uh, from different brands, but they're the best of each brand. So I did want to tell you that I am wearing most of these products today, and as I go through these, I will make sure that I tell you which ones I am wearing, and uh, so that you for sure know that. So the first product is from Believe Beauty, and everybody has been a buzz with this foundation. This is such a good foundation from them. Not only is it a great foundation for $5 at the drugstore, but the packaging is so luxe as well. It's heavyweight packaging. It is a glass bottle. It has a pump and then it has like a geometric design on the cap. I mean, honestly, I would think that this would be sold at the luxury counter at a at a department store. And I have mine in nude. It is needs to be color corrected just a tiny bit with something I'll show you in just a second, um, just to bring down a little bit of the warmth of it. They don't have a huge shade range. I hope that they do continue to produce this and I hope that they do continue to put out more shades because this is just a fantastic foundation for wear time, for blendability, for coverage, for looking natural on the skin, for no breakthrough during the day and for not showing texture on my skin. I mean, my skin looks wonderful when I wear this and when I reach for it. And even though I test a ton of foundations all the time, I have a tendency to go back to the tried and true at the drugstore just because it's so affordable and just because they perform outperform so many. So that was my first one. And then I'll tell you what the second one is that I do mix into my foundations when the need is there. And that is my number one product from LA Girl. This is a product that I reach for almost every single day because I need color correcting on my foundations because I have a cool undertone. And that is the LA Girl pro color foundation mixing pigment and this is in the blue now what the blue does when it goes into a foundation that is too yellow or too orange it cancels some of that out and so it brings it more to a neutral color so this just does the trick you start off with a tiny bit it is extremely pigmented you start off with a tiny bit and you mix it into your foundation i do have a video completely on this and actually i have a video on my favorite foundations from the drugstore so if i have videos on all these things i'm going to make sure that i link them down below for you guys. And then another one that was really, really hard for me to pick what I wanted was Milani. Milani has some of my favorite across the board products. They are like high-end products. They perform fantastic. I love their eyeliners. They are so good. Their blushes, their baked blushes with that little bit of sheen in them are absolutely phenomenal. Their lip glosses, their lip plumping glosses. There are so many that I could talk about from Milani, but I had to go with what do I love so much that I reach for almost on the daily? And that is from the, that is the Milani Prep Set and Glow. This one has a little bit of a luminosity in it. You're not gonna be able to see it too much. More than anything, it's just a brightening powder. And I use this to set my under eyes a lot recently because I've been, um, you know, going into menopause, getting a lot of hot flashes. And I used to just set my under eyes with just some setting spray on a sponge, but I'm finding that I really need to kind of set it down a little bit more. And so I'm using this a lot to set down. Now, after I do my makeup and I put on, you know, a little bit of mattifying powder in the areas where my pores are huge, 
I will go across and I'll just dust this completely across my face too. But today I just set my under eyes with it. But this is just so versatile. If you have very, very dry skin like I do, in the winter you can completely set your makeup with it. It gives you just this beautiful ethereal glow. And it's just one that is just outstanding and beautiful. And I can't say enough about it. So finely milled, so soft. I really hope that they don't ever stop making this. And as I'm putting it between my fingers, it's so light. And that's what's great about it too, is that you're not gonna get too much on as you're using it. So absolutely 100% love that. From okay, the next one is Flower Beauty's line. And Flower Beauty to me is such a great line. And when they discontinued it at Walmart and then they discontinued it at Ulta, I was so disappointed because I feel like their products are like luxury products or like high-end products. And I also feel like they're very underrated. And even though she doesn't put stuff out all the time, she has things that just stay in her line. And the one for me that is the number one product from them is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And I have mine in porcelain. And this is so good, you guys. Now, I don't know this, but I've been told by a couple of different people that this is almost a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury press powder that she has. And again, this is a powder that just perfects the skin and makes it look so flawless. And I use this on the parts of my face, even though I am really dry, I can use this. And I use it on the parts of my face that have large pores, or I just feel like might be too shiny at that minute, or need taken down a little bit, or I want it to just look flawless. It just does that job all the way for you. So today, I put this um, through, kind of through the T-zone, and I get really large pores right in through here, on my chin, my nose, up here through my, through my forehead, excuse me. And I obviously wanna dust down my decollete just to make it look even. And I use a very airy brush, but it just blurs out everything, and it just makes everything look so pretty. And without making anything look cakey at all, and I've purchased this a couple times. I do have it in a couple different colors for when I'm self tanning. And it's just a powder that I go back to, and I can't go wrong with it. And so I love that. It's my number one product from Flower Beauty. Use it almost every day. When I started my channel about five years ago, ColourPop was just emerging as a really great brand. And their products that they began out, they started out with was the Super Shock Shadows. And I had everything they made. I love those things. I was and just embracing that Super Shock formula because it was so good on my eyes, my skin. I loved it. And I have since then come to pick out all of the Super Shock products that I love. I love the highlighters, I love the eyeshadows, but the blush, you guys, the blush is something that I absolutely reach for constantly. Because it is that cream to powder product and because it has that grip property that grips onto your cheeks without being too much at once. And it's just so beautiful as you blur it out and as you use it. I do have it on my cheeks today, it is my blush today. And this is called Between the Sheets, by the way, I don't think I said that. But this is my third Between the Sheets, I think it is. This is my favorite color because it doesn't matter what I put on for eyes or lips, this color Between the Sheets is gonna go with it. It is definitely a um, neutral pink, a neutral pinky peach color with a medium tone. So if you're anybody that is, you know, tan to all the way to fair, you're gonna be able to use this. Such a beautiful color. The formula is fabulous. I absolutely love the formulas. And they're there, they stay there all day long. And they don't show up any texture whatsoever. So even though I'm dry, it's not gonna look cakey, it's not gonna look powdery, and it's gonna have that beautiful flush all day long for me. And I just use a stipple brush to put this on with. You can use your fingers and just, you know, lightly go across your cheeks and it will you know just be something that's beautiful that's the super shock formula you can use fingers sponge tip applicators stipple brush is my favorite way to use it but love that blush so so much number seven is a product that i just tried last year for the first time but as far as the drugstore they're like l'oreal they're a little bit on the higher end and i originally started out with trying the lift and luminate foundation which i was absolutely enamored with. But this foundation right here that they came out with at the beginning of the year or the end of last year, it's the number seven 
Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation Hydrating Age Defying with a Sunscreen SPF of 50 plus. And you guys, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this foundation. And this is a foundation that is the total dupe for the IT Cosmetics, but I like it better. And the reason that I like it better is I feel like their shade range is so much better. I have mine in Cool Ivory, and it's a perfect shade for me. I mean, it's spot on for my fair skin that is more on the cool toned side. But what else I love about it more than anything is its lasting power and how good it looks on my mature skin. Dry skin is such a challenge with any sort of foundation, but this one is one that keeps you hydrated. You have that hydrated feel and you have the extra SPF too. I like it just has a little bit better coverage, has a little bit better wear time and never shows any of my texture whatsoever. So yay for number seven for coming out with this and definitely my number one product from them. All right, the next few are probably gonna be no surprise to anybody. And if you've been in my channel for very long, you're gonna understand from e.l.f. e.l.f. is one of those brands that originally they were like a dollar and two dollars at the drugstore. Then they went up to like three and four dollars. Now it's about six dollars, eight dollars for their um, stuff that's coming out now. But they're so worth it and they have kept their costs down and I applaud e.l.f. for everything they've done. They've done fantastic things across the board. And I, for me, the number one standout product from them is their Poreless Putty Primer. This primer goes on so nice and I love it so much. It is thin enough that it's not gonna make me look cakey and yet it has the um, dimethicone in it that's gonna help fill the pores and smooth out my complexion and it goes so well under foundation. I mean, it plays perfectly with just about any foundation I put it with. I don't think unless the foundation is really bad that I've ever found one that didn't go well with this. Now they do have a matte one now and they have the luminous and I don't like either of those as much as I like this one. This one just seems to be that perfect balance for me. I am wearing it under my makeup today and it just perfects the skin. It just gives you a gorgeous canvas to start before you start your foundation. So I have to pick this one because it is just so lovely. I almost put in those new quad eyeshadows or one of their big 18 pan eyeshadows, but this I use almost every day. So I had to put this one in there. Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is one of those companies that they have been around forever. I used to use them when I was young. I love Wet n Wild. They have had these two reflect shimmer palettes and they call them palettes, I think just because of their huge size. But I talk about these constantly on my channel. And the reason is, is because they create a glass-like texture across your skin. They're a baked product. Um, this one is called All Have a Cosmo. It's more on the pink side. And then the one that is on a champagne -y side is, um, let's see, Boozy Brunch. And they just create this gorgeous glow instead of any texture or any powder or anything like that. They're ones that you can pretty much pile on your skin. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, aging skin and you feel like you can't wear shimmers or whatever, you can still wear these because they just become glass on the skin. And hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see how reflective and how beautiful those are. And I do have, um, I'll have a Cosmo on my cheeks today. Boozy Brunch, I wear more in the fall and I wear it a little bit more light-handed because it does have the um, champagne-y color to it. But oh my goodness, you guys, can you believe how absolutely reflective and gorgeous this is? And yeah, these have to be my number one from Wet n Wild. I did have a couple others that I was going back and forth with. I love the foundation, the new dewy one, but these have been my loves for years and years and years. And they did bring them back to Ulta, which I was so glad to see. So love those things. Number one product from Wet n Wild. L'Oreal was really hard for me as well because I have... So many products that I really like from L'Oreal. Their mascaras, their brow products, their lipsticks, they're all really good products. Their foundations, they're great products. And so I did have a, a runner up here and it is the Lumi Bronze It and the True Match Lumi Bronze It. Huge pan, first of all. I love that it has just a little bit of luminosity in it, but I also love that the product inside of here isn't too warm. And this one is actually pretty darn cool on my skin and, and it's in light and so i'm gonna have to kind of build it up so you guys can see it 
but it is just gorgeous on my fair skin. And even though it says it's a Lumi product, it, it's very satiny. It doesn't have like too much luminosity that for a bronzer, you know, you're just gonna get too glowy from it. It's really not like that. But the color is just perfect for me and my fair skin. So if you have fair skin and you really have been looking for a bronzer that doesn't turn you too orange, that might be it. But my number one product from them wasn't that. And I know I'm cheating. I'm cheating completely from being <laughs> just showing you one product from each brand. But the Infallible Shadows, I showed these not very long ago, and these have been around for years and years. I have two that are my absolute favorite. One is Timeless Blue Spark, and then the other one is Golden Sage. And both of these are fabulous fabulous products they come like this it's a single shadow and it's in a pot and then they have a stopper because they really truly are a loose powder that's kind of just compacted down there by the stopper there's the two of them and oh my goodness you guys on the lid they create such a bold statement but they're so silky and so buttery that they don't show a lot of texture even though they're a high metallic. Now some of them are less metallic than others. These just happen to be my two favorite that I have out of about seven or eight that I have. But putting these onto the lid and then you know wearing neutral all over the rest of your eye creates such a stunning look. And whether you're into green or blue or whether you like both of them and you wanna pick them both up, you can't go wrong. It's just so, so pretty. So that was my number one product from L'Oreal. And then NYX is a brand that I really enjoy, but I do find that there are a lot of hits and misses in NYX. They have such a huge range of products. Of course, most of these brands, they do have a ton of products, but NYX seems to me that they're coming out with products all the time. They're like, almost in a frenzy to come out with the newest, greatest, latest thing. And I want to go back to a product that I have loved for a very, very long time. And I've told you guys about almost when this I started my channel, I started talking about that. And that is the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. And this is a base for any product that you want to be waterproof or that you want to change into a liquid. Um, a powder product that you want to change into a liquid. So let's say that you have a specific look that you really want to use a liner on, but you don't have a liner the right color, um, but you do have the eyeshadow that's the right color. You can take a tiny bit of this mixing medium, and I'm talking a tiny bit. Now I put like twice or three times the amount. Hopefully you guys can see how much I have there on my hand right there. I put so much on there. You need like a fraction of that. And what I did today was I went down into my palette with a pencil brush and I, you know, picked up a lot of powder and put it into there and then I just used it as my liner. And that is gonna be there all day. There is nothing that's gonna budge that. It's going to be a gorgeous product all day. Now, if you wanted to also use this to enhance a product, a powder product or eyeshadow that you put on your lids, if you want it to be more um, shiny, more luminous, anything like that, then you mix that in, put it on there. Again, it's going to be completely waterproof. Let's say you have an eyeshadow that you love the color of it, but um, you don't feel like you could use it on your eyes because it's maybe too pink, too red. Try it on your lips with the multitasking mixing medium because it's gonna create basically a liquid lip or a very matte lip and then you can put a gloss over it and it just turns out so pretty. I've done that with a lot of shimmers that I have in um, eyeshadow palettes and I'll take that and I'll mix them together and just put them on the center of my lip to make my lips look more, um, more full, more pouty, and it just works so good. So this has been a favorite of mine. Many of you have picked it up on my recommendation and I cannot talk enough about it. I should have years ago done a whole entire video on it about how it performs and how well it keeps your eyeshadows on and the different things you can use it for. So definitely number one product from NYX is their multitasking mixing medium. Okay, the next one is the last one and it is from Maybelline. And Maybelline is another one of those that I was like, I really love their master chrome product. I really love their foundations. I adore the Lash Sensational Mascara. That is one of my very favorites. And a lot of their mascaras I've tried over and over again. Love them. But you guys, I had to pick their lipsticks. They're so affordable. And to me, they're so luxe. They're so creamy. I have a ton of these. And mostly because they're affordable. But 
Also because it doesn't matter what the formula is, whether it's a pearl, whether it's matte, whether it's cream, it doesn't matter what the formula is. I love these things. So I'm gonna share with you some of my very, very favorites. This one is, I believe, called Blushing Beige. The only place that I could find this was on Amazon um, now, but you might be able to find it. Sometimes you can find them on Walmart. Blushing Beige, perfect nude color to mix with just about any lip liner you want to. So if you want to go more towards the warm side, you want to go more towards the cool side, you should be able to wear blushing beige. I'm wearing it as my base with my lip liner today and then a lip gloss over top of it. This one is rosy pink. This is one of their newer ones. This is kind of like a My Lips But Better product. So that's like a medium rose color. It's just, it's the perfect rose color without having too much warmth without having too much cool in it. And so then on the mauve, I have worn, oh my gosh, you guys, I've worn this probably for eight years, maybe more on the mauve. And I bust that color out when it is um, autumn and I wear it all autumn long. One year, I didn't wear any other lipstick but that on the mauve. <laughs> and I, I'm crazy about my mauve colors anyway, but that is just like the perfect tone ever. And then this one is one of my iconic ones as well. This is Warm Me Up. Again, this is a little bit more on the pink side than the rose one. It goes for everybody's skin tone. Everybody that I've talked to has tried this at one point and they really like it, I feel like. And then my last one is called Born With It. And this one is really good because it is that pinky perfect shade for spring for me. And it is that one on the bottom. So they're, the rose colors, I'm very drawn to the rose colors. This one for spring, so pretty. I'm gonna just actually just touch it up a little bit. Put a little bit more on. I have other things on, but you can kind of tell what it, you know, it's just a beautiful shade. So definitely Maybelline lipsticks are number one for me. And the formula is so comfortable. Never have any trouble with bleeding. Never have any trouble with them at all. Love the formula no matter what formula it is. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching my number one drugstore products from each brand. So I hope that you did like this video today. Please give it a thumbs up. Do you have a number one product that you reach for every single day from the drugstore and you know that it is your favorite product from that brand? I'd love to hear that from you guys. You guys know that I love those kind of interchanges and I actually really love to be able to try them and incorporate them and then share them with other people too if i can do that so make sure you leave those comments down below thanks so much for being a part of my channel i love you guys so very much please stay healthy stay safe stay sanitized and i will catch you all in my very next video love you bye bye